My name is Crystal. In this video, I'm going to introduce Wang Kaiwei, one of the most influential Chinese directors in Asian film industry. Throughout his career, Wang has directed 10 movies, written 25 scripts for both TV and feature films, and won the best directors in the 50s cans with his movie In the Mood for Love. Just like his unique dress code, Wang's film not only influenced multiple filmmakers in the industry, including the director of Moonlight, Barry Jenkins, but also formed his own filming aesthetics. Wang is famous for telling stories of forbidden love with nostalgic scenes combining both Western and Eastern cultures in Hong Kong. Instead of using dialogue to present the feelings of characters or filming with a perfect script, Wang shot most of his movies without a complete script and follows inspirations at his strikes. He uses colors, various camera styles, unique editing technique, and monologue to explore a sense of isolation, urbanity, and loneliness. In Wang's movies, colors play an important role in portraying the relationship between characters as well as creating a sense of distance. In his most famous movie, In the Mood for Love, which is a story of two neighbors' couples, Mr. Cho and Mrs. Chen, they form a strong bond for each other after they found out their spouses are cheating on them with each other. They try to understand what's happening by emulating their spouses. In the movie, Wang uses colors to present the vague distance between them and further uses it as a tool to imply the slow development of their relationship. The film was set in an overall dark colored tone. And throughout the movie, the only colorful element is the qi pao that Mrs. Chen wears. In 1962 Hong Kong, women wore qi pao as their daily fashion, and this particular clothing style represents a sense of both graceful and traditional, which encompass the scene of the movie. A struggle between living in and existing in name-only marriage, or ignore the moral judgment and accept a special relationship. The dim corridor, rainy street, and dark office also imply the ending of the movie. Besides that, Wang uses the color of qi pao to imply the emotional feelings of Mrs. Chen as well. In the early part of the movie, we see Mrs. Chen wearing dark colored qi pao, such as the scene of her talking with the landlord when they just move in, the shot of Mrs. Chen talking to her husband, various montage as she walks to buy dinner for herself, and more montage of Mrs. Chen going out with Mr. Cho to restaurant or just walking on the late night streets. This dark colored qi pao imply her loneliness and also indicate the beginning of her relationship with Mr. Cho with a sense of vagueness. At the night when they confirm their spouses are having an affair with each other, Mrs. Chen goes to the hotel wearing a red qi pao, which implies the emotion of love, passion, and betrayal. As Mrs. Chen finally decides to leave Hong Kong with Mr. Zhou to Singapore, she arrives at the hotel room 2046 with a green qi pao, which indicates a sense of hope and trust. The scene of Mrs. Chen crying in the hotel room, the huge contrast of the green qi pao and the red curtain in the hotel create a sense of loss or moreover, a fatal miss. In Wang's most recent movie, The Grand Master, we can also see how he uses color to create a certain atmosphere. In the scene that Gong Er fights with her father's apprentice at the train station in order to revenge for her father's death, Wang uses black and dark yellow as the main color tone. And the only bright color we can see is white, which is the snow and the plum blossom hairpin on Gong Er's hair. And it represents Gong's hometown in the sense of innocence. The dark yellow reveals a sense of anxious vigilance, while the black background creates a solemn and stirring atmosphere. Another movie that shows Wang's bold usage of color is Happy Together. The film is about a gay couple, Lai and Ho, 
they take a trip to Argentina and gradually find out their lives are drifting apart in opposite directions. The early part of the movie is set in black and white, and this part of the movie is the memory of them breaking up. After Light comes to the hotel and they come back together, the film returns into colors. The later part of the movie is mainly in yellow tone, which refers to a sense of insecurity of their relationship, but also mixes with enjoying the freedom of living as a gay couple in a foreign country. Besides colors, another skill that Wang uses to carry the story in his film is the unique camera style, and his movie *In the Mood for Love* is the best example. In the movie, Wang uses slow motion to create the ambiguity and uncertainty between Mrs. Chen and Mr. Cho, and various montage of Mrs. Chen going out for dinner and they walking past each other at the stairs further imply the temptation between them. These very scenes of Mr. Cho and Mrs. Chen trying to emulate their spouses blurred the line of reality and fantasy. And throughout the slow motion movements, the audience can really tell if they are being themselves or being their spouses. This technique allows the audience to experience the emotional development of characters, and present the condition that they are under constant threat of gossip. From their landlord, as well as a kind of surveillance from the community at large. Unlike most of the movie that uses intense angles and speed to present dramatic moments, in the movie Happy Together, Wang uses slow motion to show the uncertainty and conflict between the gay couple. Throughout the slow motion. The audience is able to feel the sensibility behind what they see, and therefore create a connection with the characters. Besides the slow motion, Wang also adapts the technique of frames within frames, which means the audience can see the characters not only by the film itself, but also through other internal shapes of a frame within the scene. Wang uses this technique largely in movie *In the Mood for Love*, and it helps to create a depressive, secret, and ambiguous atmosphere. Why don't you call me when you call me? Kenley, you don't like me. Then why don't you call me when you call me? In another movie, *Chunky Express*, a story about two policemen and their romantic encounters. We can also see how Wang uses this technique to create the romantic relationship between two characters. In the scene where the waitress Fei is trying to listen what cop C33 is talking to the restaurant owner about his girlfriend, we see the cops through the narrow space between two food machines. The scene perfectly presents us the nerve of eavesdropping and adds curiosity to what the plot. Except the technique of using frame within a frame. Another technique that Wang calmly adapts is using the wide angle lens. In his movie *Fallen Angels*, which is a story about five killers struggle between love and death, Wang uses a lot of extreme close-up with a wild angle lens, and these shots perfectly present a sense of loneliness and detachment of human relationship. In the movie. We can constantly see characters are drinking, smoking, or just wandering, and this wide-angle lens enlarges their facial expression, allows the audience to better understand the emotional struggles of loss and isolation that characters are experiencing. Wang also prefers using Dutch angle, which means setting the camera tilted at one side at its raw axis, and makes the horizontal and vertical lines unparalleled. In the scene, the cop two to three is talking to his ex-girlfriend through the public phone. Wang uses this camera technique to present a sense of uneasiness and tension, and the dark color tone adds more elements to create an isolated atmosphere. Wang's movies are neither slow motion nor fast motion. It is his own motion. Another important technique that Wang uses in his editing is step printing, 
which is shooting the scene at lower frame rates. Then doing the editing, multiply these shots and project them in a normal frame rate. He once explained that he uses this technique to create a sense that everything seems to happen so speedy, but actually very slow. In the scene, the COP223 is in focus, but the background isn't, and it gives the impression that he is somehow being dislodged from surroundings. The coffee drinking scene that depicts COP63 and Faye standing in the restaurant furthermore elongates the moment into eternity. The technique of step printing further becomes a symbol of Wang's film aesthetics. Except for his symbolic technique of camera and editing, Wang's film style can be complete without talking about the use of monologue. As a tool to lead the audience to a closer look at the characters, Wang uses it commonly almost in his every film and creates lots of classical quotes. We see characters talking their feelings toward the audience, but not to share with other characters in the movie. In his early film, Days of Being Wild, we heard the female leading monologue talking about her affection towards the male leading at the beginning of the movie. Ecologically, then later, we have the young man speaking about his own struggles. Besides that, Trunking Express is another perfect example of Wang using monologue to connect the story and further create a sense of isolation. I don't know he uses the same technique in Happy Together to introduce the story background. The philosophy of love that Wang presented in Chunking Express, the question of freedom in days of being wild, or even just complain in Happy Together. All of these monologues present the audience the most private part of these characters. Wang combined them with unique shots, perfect choice of color and music, and obscurely conveyed the distance and melancholic perception without heavy dialogues. Some people criticize that the theme of Wang's movie is too narrow. He never talks about social injustice, but only focuses on individuals' love or loss. But just as Wang says in his interview, Some people make films to provide answer, but the way I make films is more like uh, posting questions. Is this the only way? Why can't we do it like this? <laughs>